Solana is having an amazing bull run. Meme coins are flying. Gas fees over there just aren't a problem. But if you're currently holding a big fat stack of soul on a centralized exchange, well, how are you going to put that sweet ka-ching ka -ching to use? Get those tokens working for you. Well, if you want to interact on chain in the Solana ecosystem, then you need to move your soul off of those centralized exchanges and into a suitable wallet. And the top wallet choice in the Solana ecosystem, of course, is Phantom. So let's today walk through how to get set up, how to use it safely so that you can start making some on-chain profits. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, just free educational information for you. So enjoy it. So what kind of wallet is Phantom? Now, there are various types of cryptocurrency wallets out there, and Phantom is what is called a hot wallet. That means that there is no hardware device. It's always on the internet. It's always connected, and you can directly connect your wallet with compatible sites and start interacting. Now, you can't actually connect your Ledger wallet to this and use it as a direct interface, but standard use of the Phantom browser-based wallet is like that. So you go, you download it as an extension, and then you can open it up right there in your browser bar. It now supports various chains beyond Solana, by the way, but it is the best known Solana wallet. So you can use it for Sol, for all your Solana-based tokens, including, of course, all of your meme coins, all of your NFTs, all that fun kind of stuff and for connecting to different Solana DeFi protocols and stuff like that as well. And you can even do things like swap tokens on DEXs like Jupiter. Now let's talk about downloading and setting up a Phantom wallet. Downloading is super simple, just as you'd expect. You go to phantom.app, link in the description, click download, and you can select your desktop browser version or the mobile version, and you will then be taken over to the relevant web store to download it. Pretty standard, simple stuff. After Phantom is installed, you need to then open it, click on Create New Wallet. At this point, there are a couple of very, very important stages and steps to take. First, of course, setting your password. Make sure it's a good one, guys. Getting your secret recovery phrase set up as well. The password is what you use regularly to open up the wallet every day when you want to use it, just like any other password that you use online. Make sure you're using a unique password, obviously, for your phantom wallet, not one that you use everywhere else, not password123, something unique and difficult, okay? But the secret recovery phrase, also known as a seed phrase, is something very unique to crypto. Crucially, only you will know the recovery phrase. No one working at Phantom knows it. And no one can help you recover it if you lose it. And you should never share it online with them. and never store it online because anyone who gets a hold of that phrase is then able to access your wallet and the funds contained therein, aka they can hack and take your shit, okay? Be careful with this. Never put it online, never put it in Evernote, never send it to your buddies, none of that stuff, okay? So basically you need to write this down using one of these things, old fashioned style, get a pen out, piece of paper, get it done. It'll consist of 12 words. You need to store those securely and never tell them again to anyone. Ideally, write down two copies, laminate them, put them somewhere safe and separate. You won't need this on a daily basis, but as long as you have it, you can always recover your wallet on any device that can download a phantom wallet. So if your cat eats your computer, you can just download a phantom onto your new wallet, okay? Onto your new computer when you get it. Okay, now we need to send some Solana to our phantom wallet. So next, you need to send that soul over to your phantom to get started to do all the fun stuff we want to do. If you haven't already bought some soul, then check out our other video called How to Buy Solana on BitGet. But when you have some coins to take off of an exchange, then you will be able to open up your Phantom Wallet, click on Solana, click on Receive, and click to copy your wallet address. Now, you will always need some Solana in your wallet to pay for gas fees, but many exchanges also now let you withdraw, for example, USDC or USDT stable coins directly to the Solana network. Then on the exchange where you're holding your Solana, we're using BitGet in this example, you'll need to go to the withdraw section, select Sol, check, of course, double check that you're on the Solana network, paste in your phantom wallet address, select how much soul that you actually want to withdraw and then transfer it across. Now, Solana is very fast, so it'll only take a minute or so to get there in most cases. That done, it'll be confirmed on the blockchain and then your phantom wallet 
is ready for action. You're loaded up. You're ready to go. Ready to ape into all kinds of shit coins and meme coins and all kinds of other malarkey on the blockchain. So after that, how do you hook your wallet up with some of the Solana platforms? Well, connecting and firming is very, very easy. But not every site's the same. When you go to a Solana platform, you can usually just connect your wallet very simply by clicking a button up in the top right corner. For example, if we visit the NFT exchange Magic Eden, we can click on connect wallet right at the top. They usually make it super, super easy to figure out where to do it. They just say connect wallet here. Then you select the Solana network, then you select Phantom, then you click sign in, and then Phantom itself opens up and we can sign to connect. Super easy. Super easy, right? Can't be much simpler than this. The other thing you're probably going to need to do is a lot of confirming transactions, which is pretty typical for all blockchain stuff. It basically means the authorized phantom to go ahead and perform a particular action. That could be spending a USDC or whatever else, connecting to an app, confirming uh, a contract for a an NFT or whatever else. So let's put this all in action. Let's go over to the Jupiter Dex, J-U-P.A-G. I want to swap some soul for my favorite cat coin, when, W-E-N. And to make that happen, having set up the swap on the Dex, I finally have to confirm the transaction in Phantom, which will open from the browser bar when the swap is initiated. Pretty simple stuff here. Please remember, though, in crypto... There's no return policy, okay? So when you confirm a transaction and you set it in motion, it cannot be reversed. There's no customer service hotline for the blockchain, and the blockchain is forever. Now, you can always sell back, but at what price? Hopefully more, obviously, but not always. What about fees and failed transactions? Well, everyone knows about the sky-high fees when you use Ethereum. It's pretty gross these days. But what about Solana? How much are you getting burned by using the chain? Well. The good news is that compared to Ethereum, or actually a lot of uh, blockchains these days, Solana is very, very cheap. You're looking at an average transaction cost of less than half a cent. Feels pretty cheap to me. And that's great in general, especially if you're wanting to trade quickly in and out of different volatile coins, especially at small amounts for trading 20 or 50 bucks per coin. But please don't develop bad habits like over trading or dumping positions too quickly when they dip just a little bit. Also, while Solana is cheap to use, it is not perfect. And you will sometimes have to deal with failed transactions. It's normal. It happens. Don't get too excited when it does happen because it happens to everybody sometimes. In that case, you'll get a notification saying that the transaction has not gone through and that, well, you can just go try again. Now, what about staking some Solana in Phantom? Now, if you ever get exhausted of you know, chasing weird cat or dog or what other creature coins are out there, then a chilled out way to make some income from your soul is to stake your coins in return for yield. And you can do that directly from your phantom wallet. Now in the wallet, very simple. All you need to do is just go and click on Solana, wait for staking accounts to load, click where it says start earning soul, and then you'll get a list of different staking options with estimated APY and the amounts of soul that they contain. Select one, enter the amount that you want to stake, and then click the stake button and Phantom will deal with the rest of the process for you. Basically couldn't be much easier to stake your Solana coins. When you want to go and check the details of your staked soul or to unstake it, click again on Solana and it will now say what your stake is. And if you click on that, then you'll go into your staking account. Let's see all the info there. Now, what about setting up multiple accounts? Because if you're connecting to a lot of new sites, especially if they're not well known, probably not a bad idea to have a second account set up in Phantom. So you can put just a very small amount of soul in it and use it as what's called a burner wallet for potentially making those riskier transactions on new sites. Come on, guys, you know, you know the sites I'm talking about, all right? To do this, open Phantom, click on the three bars at the top left, click on the plus icon down at the bottom, click on create new account, give it a name if you want. Burner wallet, for example, is a good one. And that's it. And then you have another wallet address, which you can then switch between accounts as you need. In fact, you can set up as many different addresses as you like this way. 
but all of these accounts are contained within the same secret recovery phrase that you stashed away securely when you first installed the phantom wallet. So if somebody gets that, they get access to, again, all the wallets. Now, using a burner wallet it can be a good idea for you know good crypto hygiene, but stick around for a few more safety tips. So let's keep safe. Let's keep secure. Let's not screw around, guys. This is magic internet money, and people are coming after your coins. And when it comes to on-chain security habits, you need to always be super careful which sites you're actually even connecting to. Always double, triple check to verify you have the correct link. Always be careful what transactions you're signing. Double check everything. Go to platforms through links on their official Twitter pages, which you're going to know are legit unless they've been hacked, but always check the comment section and make sure people are saying that everything's successful and that the account hasn't been hacked. Use a burner wallet if necessary for your first interaction. And if you're in any doubt at all, then don't connect your wallet or sign any transactions. It's just not worth it. You can also revoke connections to sites and protocols by going again into the settings in Phantom. This is very useful, by the way. You shouldn't have a bunch of old permissions on your wallet at all. Click on connected apps, select the app, Click disconnect. It's super easy to do. I wish more blockchains had such a simple setup, but it's very easy to do. And again, you don't want to have a bunch of old permissions lying around. So keep it clean. Hygiene, guys. Finally, as I said earlier, Phantom is a hot wallet, which is great for interacting on chain, but it's not the most secure type of wallet for a variety of reasons. If you're holding a lot of tokens and you want higher security, then you may want to look at using a hardware wallet. In that case, Ledger is the leading hardware wallet and it is compatible with phantom meaning that you can use the two of them together for added security which is pretty damn cool link in the description if you need to go out and buy one of those they're pretty affordable to be honest for now though you should be able to use phantom to explore the solana ecosystem so have fun don't take too many risks be careful i know meme coins are fun but Relax, guys. Don't go too crazy. And make the most of all those opportunities out there for profits because there are a lot of them right now on Solana. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.